What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today is the first day of a very heavily anticipated weekend here, the double crypto key weekend within Black Ops 3. We have not had this for, I want to say, two months if not more now in the game and it's something that making a return, I'm heavily expecting a lot of people to be trying to grind out crypto keys and for that, you guys might find this video quite interesting. That is going to be discussing how to get the absolute most crypto keys here out of Black Ops 3 these next three days. If you guys find this information helpful at all and want to drop a like down below, I really appreciate it, but don't need to if you don't want to. But talking right about crypto keys now here, the first thing that I think we have to understand is we got to get a misconception out of the way here. A lot of people up until very recently or still do think that kills, captures, and everything like that really affect how many crypto keys you get in a game. That is actually entirely false. Kills, captures, confirms, whatever you want to talk about in-game does not affect anything to do with crypto keys unless it's the one thing at the very end of the game that matters in stats. That being the win or loss. If you guys get 100 plus and win the game, you can still get as many crypto keys as somebody that had three kills and won the game. The only thing that matters at the end of this here and gets you crypto keys is the wins and losses. Kills and everything subsidiary absolutely do not matter here. So the the big thing that you want to do is play the objective. That's the first tip that I have here for you guys, whether it's domination, hard point, capture the flag, uplink, safeguard, whatever it is, play the objective because whenever you win and string together those wins, you hit the max for what you can do in the multipliers and how the crypto keys works. We talked about this a little bit ago on the channel, but crypto keys are actually time-based. And if you win, you get a multiplier on top of that so that you can get at the maximum in a standard set period of time three crypto keys. Now I know some of you guys actually even in the last video we talked about with this have mentioned that you've gotten more than three crypto keys per game but what I'm basing it off of is a set standard time period. The standard game mode in Black Ops 3 lasts anywhere at the max to 10 minutes. So that's going to be something that three crypto keys the way that the averaging works out you get a crypto key right about every three minutes here within Black Ops 3 if you win. So basically the way that works out is you can get three crypto keys per game. However if you go into overtime or something like that in uplink, safeguard, or capture the flag, games like that with overtimes, it will elongate what you have in terms of playing time, so you also get more time to earn crypto keys. So that now leads into what are the best modes to play to get more crypto keys. This actually comes down to personal preference. If you guys want to take the shorter route, there's a way to do this, but if you also want to get kills and get more crypto keys at the same time, there's a way to do that as well. So firstly, let's talk about the shorter method Play game modes like Gun Game and Free For All. The average game for this will be right around five minutes or so here, and it doesn't have to necessarily last 10 minutes, but the shorter the game mode here, the more crypto keys you can get out in a shorter amount of time. So game modes like Free For All and Gun Game stack these up in a quick fashion. However, if you guys want to, say, throw in a kill gameplay in there as well, game modes like Safeguard, Uplink, and Capture the Flag all work well because if you force that over time, you also get an elongated period of time to play, which means that you get more crypto keys out of that one singular game, but also you have more time to do some more carnage if you want to get some kills, some captures, and maybe pad your stats a little bit more here with score. So a quick recap here for you guys, make sure you go for the win, play for the objective, that's going to get you the crypto key bonuses, string together wins and you get the most that you can get as well, depending on what you guys want to do, play the shorter game modes like free for all and gun game, or play the game modes like capture the flag, safeguard, and uplink if you guys want to get a longer game mode. But that is where we're going to wrap this video up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What is your goal here for crypto key numbers at the end of this weekend? I would love to hear what your goals are, whether high or low. Does not matter to me. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, rating, down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 30,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help and is, as always, greatly appreciated. But my name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.